I've been working with poor communities for the last uh, 20 years or so. Communities like this, they are uh, poor, but they work hard. But Yolanda was simply devastating, so you can see houses such as this one. Uh, it's been how many months since Yolanda and these people are not able to repair their houses. There are many more like this in the Philippines, in the communities where I work with. In this particular place, there are about 200 families and uh, some uh, 30 to 40 families that have not been able to repair or do something about their houses. But there are those who are able to rebuild their houses through the help of their relatives, especially those who work as OFWs from abroad. So aside from trying to help them rebuild their houses, we have worked with these communities to uh, also own the land they are staying in. They used to live uh, on houses built on land that is not theirs. But this community, they went and looked for this land. They moved here with the whatever they can bring, cardboards, bamboos, and put up their own houses. But it's really something that, that they can be appreciated for because the land, even if it were small, is now uh, something that they started paying for. And so eventually they will have security of land tenure. Now we help them put up the house with the assistance of Fondation de France because these families cannot afford paying for the repair of the house because they are still also paying for the amortization of the land. They can only have one. So as you can see with the family there, they are there. You don't see them, but they're in that uh, shoddy house and they are paying the government for the land. In a few years, they will own the land. Then hopefully, maybe they can also start improving their house. Meantime, we continue to work with these communities. We help them um, with trainings, like some of the carpenters and masons that are residents in this community who are right now busy repairing houses that were affected by Yolanda are on a training where we hope to upgrade their skills in order that the houses they will start to build or repair will be better and safer. Sometimes when we try to help communities, it's not just enough that we give them house and land. It's important that we go, they go through what we would call a community organizing process whereby leaders or members are capacitated, empowered, so that they'll be able to come together as a community and then bring their concerns to the government.